All right, we got a double barrel system here. We got the Boffman high octane. As you can see, I'm walking on it. This pipe is so strong that it doesn't even deflect. It doesn't even deflect when Scott and I walk across it and we're the two heavier guys out of all the French drain guys here. So we can't even get the pipe to deflect. Oh, by the way, that's a blind inlet. A lot of people have been asking a lot of questions. So we're just going to fill this in with stone and any water that comes into this corner from the neighboring yards, which that's what's been happening. It'll just go right into the Boffman High Octane. All right, we're going to teach you how to install the new Boffman High Octane drain tile. It's the first pipe made specifically for yard drainage systems. You're going to notice a couple of things different. We brought you first the fully contained maintenance free yard drain system with the Boffman 8 slot yellow. Now we're going to show you when you open up the inlets as wide as Boffman has on this high octane how we can get away with no fabric on the top. We still want the non-woven geotextile fabric on the sidewalls and the bottom so that the aggregate does not migrate. But what we're going to show you is some blind inlets. I don't want people to get confused. These aren't any type of inlet basin. They're actually the French drain man full throttle blind inlet. We lay them down right over the stone with no fabric under it and this way any leaves that fall, any debris will just get caught. You can blow it off and even shop vacuum. The pipe is so big, the inlets are so big in the pipe that sediments just wash right through it. Soft on say the paws of your pets as well as little feet. So when the children you know are back here running around playing you know this there's no sharp edges it's it's really nice okay so you're looking at the french drain man full throttle blind inlet those are 12 by 12s there's stone right under them you can see the stone big stone inch and a half on average we're moving far more water first we brought you a maintenance free system fully contained change to the industry now we're changing it again we're building systems to move water faster and faster you can put four of these together these 12 by 12s to make a 24 by 24 they're sold in a four pack for a big blind inlet and we're going to show you those in the future we're going to put the sod right on top of this inch and a half cobble this round, round rock shoreline stone God, nice work Valentine hey brother nice job man appreciate you so Valentine just trimmed off God these guys do nice work so here just cut that fabric off just below the sod right there you know the leave let the sod knit together so we want this to touch up against here so you get a good knit so cut it off right at that point so you got to recess your stone the sod's just going to get laid right over top of this big cobble and this Boffman high octane is going to rip man that is insane man I love this pipe look at that well, another thing that I'm going to share with you, this is square on the outside. It gives it amazing strength. That's why Scott and I can walk on it. It's thick. And I wanted to point this out because it's really important. It's not square on the inside. It's rounded so that the water, you know, just flows freely. I mean, everything about this pipe has been methodically thought out and done. So... I just couldn't be more happy with this pipe. They nailed it. They really nailed it.
can't wait to show you the kind of water we're moving. Nobody can compete with this pipe. Nobody can compete with this yard drain. You've seen the kind of water that we have to move. I'll put some still photos in so you can see how bad the water problem is here. This guy will never see water stand in his yard again. I don't care how fast it comes in, this system's going to move it. And this system is going to take the water in on contact, literally. In the event that, say, we detect some iron awk, right here is how we're going to jet this system out. So we can access both pipes through here. We can access both pipes through here. And we got a method in which we use to do that. And so I'll show you that in a future video. I really want to get out of the guy's way for now. But the reason why we don't have to use the fabric on top, you have a natural filtration. This stone's not going to let that much through. But sediments that wash through, they'll go right through this pipe, right out to the front yard where we're discharging all this water. That's why we don't need to put any fabric on top. I still like to do our non-woven geotextile on the sides and the bottom to maintain. The, the guys work so hard to get this trench bottom perfect, and I don't want this stone to start migrating and causing a disruption to just how the water flows at the bottom of this trench, as well as in, in time, it's going to hurt its performance if we allow migration. So I'm, I'm walking on the stone. I mean, this pipe even gets stronger when it's packed in stone. Now, you don't need as much stone when you go to the bigger aggregate. Keep that in mind. You're going to fill the trench much faster with the larger aggregate. There's our blind inlet. So... As you can see, the Boffman High Octane doesn't flex at all. Strongest single wall pipe in the world. Has more inlet than any other pipe in the world. 17 square inches per linear foot. This pipe really, really is the... This is the nitro funny car of the drainage world right here. This, this is... This baby's running on high octane, period. Now remember the golden rule, you don't put any of the dirt back in. You're there for a reason. That dirt did not percolate, so you don't want to put it back in. Not to mention, it is going to slow your system way down, I mean to a crawl. That's the last thing you want to do is to put that soil that doesn't percolate water back in a trench that you already worked extremely hard to remove all of that dirt. Contractors do it all the time because they're lazy and because it's costly to haul away fill. And it's just easier for them to put in a small percentage of the stone, probably one-fifth of what we use, and then they give you all that poor percolating soil right back. Most of the systems that I see that perform poorly, it's because they did not haul away all the dirt that they dug out when they went ahead and did the excavation for the drainage system. The other thing that we do, and we're showing it more and more, we like running a double barrel system. It is like having a horizontal dry well. If the water comes in so fast that the system can't keep up with it, it'll actually act as a dry well, a reservoir. The stone voids are not going to be large enough, not nearly as large as another run of the Boffman High Octane. Now notice how that blind inlet is laid right on the stone. It's not going to 
put any contaminants in the system or slow it down. Alright buddy, good job.